Good morning, Catawba Ridge. It's time for your copper heads up. It's finally Friday, which means we officially survived week two of e-learning. Okay, so today's the last day of our virtual sphere week and it's green and gold day. So I'm repping my copperhead colors. Luckily for me, green is my color. Don't forget to tag Stuco and Catawba Ridge News in all of your posts so we can capture them for a future show. Listen up guys, there's now a virtual Alive at 25 class. All you need is internet access and a computer or tablet to participate. Just sign up at sncsc.org. And remember, you need to take it live at 25 to be eligible to park on campus, assuming we get back to campus at some point. Now this week we've talked about keeping connected, staying active, and even sorting some unknowns surrounding the virus. And with the update on Tuesday that will be cooped up indoors a little longer than expected. For some families, they're experiencing a forced togetherness that is a little more challenging for them than others. Coronavirus spreading to people across the country, fear and worry seem to go right along with it. Now obviously that can result in a lot of negativity, but you don't always need to look at the bad things. A major positive benefit for me is that it brought my older siblings home from college and work. It has created like a mini family reunion. The last time we were all living in the same household together was six years ago. Now we are all back together spending every waking and sleeping moment together. With that said, it can be a little <laughs> cramped. Just like how the coronavirus has shown weaknesses in our country's health infrastructure, it also shows the difficulties of having six people work from one household. That includes two parents, <laughs> two adults, two high school students, One family, all working under the same roof. With limited space, some sacrifices had to be made. Somehow, my older sister, who is 22, works from Seattle near where the outbreak first started, has infiltrated my room and has started to take it over, and has kicked me out of it during her work hours. As a result, I have been forced to live in the living room. I gotta say, it's not that bad down here. There's also many other inconveniences that just so happen to appear when we're all under one roof. There seems to be only one charging cord when all our phones are below 10%. We ran out of toilet paper. There are four vehicles in one driveway. And our Wi-Fi can't handle six. Six people on the internet at once. What's important is that we're all safe and despite the challenges, I'm glad to be back together with my entire family. For you and your families to be safe too, remember to wash your hands regularly. Don't touch your face. And most importantly, remain calm. It's gonna be all right. For CRN TV, I'm Nick Bungie. At least Nick still has his sense of humor. Okay guys, one last thing. Guidance really needs us to turn our course selection sheets, so take a picture of it on your phone and email it to your counselor so you can be sure you get all the classes that you want next year. I might even have to change my classes because I didn't realize that TV class would be harder than e-learning and I'm not even in the class this semester. I better be getting extra credit. Okay, I'm taking the weekend off to relax, but we'll be right here Monday morning for another episode. For CRN TV, I'm Paige Bell.